For crude oil to be used effectively by modern industry, it has to be separated into its component parts and have impurities like sulfur removed. The most common method of refining crude is the process of fractional distillation. This involves heating crude oil to about 350 degrees Celsius to turn it into a mixture of gases. These are piped into a tall cylinder known as a fractional tower. Inside the tower, the very long carbon chain liquids such as bitumen and paraffin wax are piped away to be broken oh, down transition. elsewhere. The hydrocarbon gases rise up inside the tower, passing through a series of horizontal trays and baffles called bubble caps. The temperature at each tray is controlled so as to be at the exact temperature hydrocarbon will condense into a liquid. The distillation process is based on this fact. Different hydrocarbons condense out of the gas cloud when the temperature drops below their specific boiling point. The higher the gas rises in the tower, the lower the temperature becomes. The precise details are different at every refinery and depend on the print at every refinery industrial versions of cracking but all rely on heating. When heated, the particles move much more quickly and their rapid movement causes carbon-carbon bonds to break. The major forms of cracking are thermal cracking, catalytic or cat cracking, steam cracking and hydro cracking. Because they differ in reaction conditions, the products of each type of cracking will vary. Most produce a mixture of saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. The most effective process in creating lighter alkanes is called catalytic cracking. The long carbon bonds are broken by being heated to around 500 degrees Celsius in an oxygen-free environment in the presence of zeolite. This crystalline substance, made of aluminium, silicon and oxygen, acts as a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction or allows it to proceed at a lower temperature than would normally be required. During the process, the catalyst, usually in the form of a powder, is treated and reused over and over again. Catalytic cracking is the major source of hydrocarbons with 5 to 10 carbon atoms in the chain. The molecules most form are the smaller alkanes used in petrol, such as propane, butane, pentane, hexane, heptane and octane, the components of liquid petroleum gas. In hydrocracking, crude oil is heated at very high pressure usually around 5,000 kilopascals, in the presence of hydrogen with a metallic catalyst such as platinum, nickel, or This process saturated In the coking unit, bitumen is heated and broken down into petrol alkanes and diesel fuel, leaving behind coke, a fused combination of carbon and ash. Coke can be used as a smokeless fuel. Reforming involves the breaking of straight chain alkanes. Two D girls are real, okay? See, they are real.